All right, let's take a look at SPM 2019, paper one, questions number 11. The variables X and Y are related by the equations Y over X equals to PX squared minus QX, where P and Q are constant. Diagram 3.1 and diagram 3.2 shows the straight line graphs obtained by plotting the relations from the equations. So this is diagram 3.1 and this is 3.2. And we were asked to express P in terms of Q. And this question gives us three marks. So these equations given by the questions is not a linear equation. So, but this 3.1 and 3.2, these two diagram are linear graph. So meaning we have to do some modifications on these non-linear equations to make it into linear equations. Alright, so notice 3.1, in diagram 3.1, on the x-axis, the x is just power 1. So meaning we have to make this, the highest power is x power 1. So how do we modify these equations? By multiplying 1 over x on the left-hand side and 1 over x on the right-hand side. Then we will get... 1 over x, multiply y over x, equals to 1 over x, multiply px squared minus qx. Alright, so both sides multiply 1 over x. I can always eliminate the 1 over x from both sides and it is still equals to the original equations. So when I multiply 1 over x on the left hand side, what do you get? I will get y over x squared and then I will get px and this will be q. So this is the linear equations for diagram 3.1. Alright? And we also notice that in diagram 3.1, the, the straight line intersect at both axes, okay? On the x-axis, we do not have the coordinate, so we do not use this. But on the y-axis, there's a coordinate. So intersect at negative 6k. So meaning, at y-axis. x is equal to 0, isn't it? Alright, by the way, this at this y-axis is different, okay? This big y is different from a small y over here. So this y-axis is different from here. So uh, this big y-axis is equal to y over x squared. Alright, so at y-axis, meaning at y over x squared, axis, x is equal to 0, then I will get minus 6k, okay, let me change the color, minus 6k is equal to p multiply 0 minus q, alright, and then I rearrange it, I will get Q is equal to 6K. So K is another unknown. We have already two P and Q unknown. Then now we add another K. So that meaning in the end, we need to eliminate the K. So let's make K the subject. So this is K is equal to Q over 6. Q over 6. Q over 6. I will say this is equation number 1. Alright? And then now we focus on diagram 3.2. Alright? So this is a linear diagram, linear graph. And again, we need to change this to linear. Okay, take a look at here. The y-axis, this is y over x cubed. And we are given the equation is y over x. So how do we change y over x into y 
or x cube. It is multiplied both side by both side multiply by one over x square. So I will get one over x square multiply y over x equals to one over x square dx square minus qx. All right. So on the left hand side. What I get is y over x cubed equals to px squared over x squared. I will get p minus qx over x squared. I will get q over x. All right? So in this case, this is our y axis. Okay, this is our vertical axis. This is our horizontal axis, which is 1 over x. And P is our constant. Okay, so what can we do over here? From diagram number diagram 3.2, we know that on this y over x cubed axis, x is equal to 0, k is equal to uh, y over x cubed is equal to k plus 3. So meaning at at y over x cube axis x is equal to zero. Right? So I can say that k plus three is equals to p minus q multiply zero and then i can say that k plus three equals to p this is our equation number two and then we have equation number one where equation number two then we can eliminate the k so we can say that 1 substitute into 2, I will get, so, k plus 3 is equal to q over 6 plus 3 equals to p. Okay, I multiply both sides by 6. It's equal to p, and this is 6. Okay, I multiply both sides by 6, I will get q plus 18 equals to 6p. We are asked to express p in terms of q. So meaning p will be equal to 1 over 6 q plus 18. Alright, that's all for now. I'll see you next time.